Hello guys, Mr. Promokuarkid here with episode 5 of my Minecraft modding series thing. Uh, this episode I'm going to do a request from a viewer. They requested that I uh, show them how to add blocks, in your like, own blocks, into the uh, world generation to make them generate, so, like ores. So basically what you want to do is you want to come under your uh, over add override bit, which is where you uh, override all the images, and you want to first type public void generate yeah generate and then you want to do parentheses uh world with a capital w and then space ah my god space world with a uh, lowercase w then you want to do a comma and random with a capital r and then rand with a lowercase r then you want to hit comma again and put int chunk X with a capital X then you want to put a comma and int chunk Z I think that's right yes and then you want to do two curly brackets and start like that but first as you may see we have a little error for random if you want to come under the package thing up at the top and you want to type in import java dot util dot random with a capital R and finish that off with semicolon and save it and we now don't have an error as you can probably see so now we actually get on to the or things so uh, I'm gonna like get into Java talk here like talking about for loops and stuff if you don't know what it means don't worry you can just copy uh, but it does help if you learn, know a little bit about Java so you wanna come in your public void generate method you wanna type in for uh, for a for loop and then you wanna do two parentheses next to it and you type in int i equals zero semicolon i is less than uh, 25 that doesn't have to be 25 though I'll talk about that in a minute and then semicolon after 25 and put i plus plus okay 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 so this 25 here this is basically how rare the block is so you can have it as one and it'll be super rare or you can put it as one the 100,000 yeah that, I think that's 100,000 yeah, 100,000. And we'll put it at that just to see if our or actually generates. So, uh, And after the I++ and after the second bracket, you want to do two more curly brackets in the for loop. And you want to type in int rand per pos x, which stands for random position x, with capital S, uh, capital X, sorry, and a capital P. And you want to do equals chunk x with a capital x plus rand dot next int with a capital i and then two parentheses and the uh you can put a number in here and what this does basically it sets a random x position for your block so you can basically this number here determines how large the vein is so you can basically have it as 16 i think we'll go with that because that's relatively normal then you want to do int under that you do int rand pos y so random position y equals rand dot next next int brackets semicolon and in here this is basically what depth our or can be found at so like if we put this to if we put this number at 128 it would basically spawn everywhere throughout the minecraft world so like in mountains uh, and a blow. So I think we'll put it at 75 just for now, but we can always change it later on. Then you want to come under RAM position Y and you want to put int rand pos Z or Z, wherever you come from, uh, equals chunk Z plus rand dot next int. Uh, it's already done it for me. Uh, and then you want to do a semicolon. And this also determines how, uh, how, um, large the vein is basically I'm, I'm not sure why I'm not sure how, uh, but I think these two the X and Z have to be the same number I'm not sure though to be perfectly honest but oh well we come under the rand position X and we put uh, two parentheses and we type in new world gen minable I think is that right minable yeah oh no I spelled minable wrong world gen minable then you want to put two more parentheses after that and you want to put uh what was our block name ben block 
error dot block id and then you want to do a comma and this number here uh, I'm not sure what this number does I just know that there has to be a number here but I'll put it to 50 not too sure what that does oh well uh, and then after both of those brackets after the both of those two brackets you want to put dot gen generate it if it it will come up for you probably if you're using Eclipse but if it doesn't just copy so you want to have it as world rand rand pause x rand pause y and rand po pause z and then I think we've done yep we should be done right now let's run it and see if it works Sorry my typing was a bit off this episode, it's just I've literally just got in from school and I cycle to school and it's not a good idea to bike to school when it's this cold. Because I live in England and it's pretty much always cold, but... And it's taking ages to start. Where's my console? Did I even click the start button? Oh, maybe I didn't. Oops. Oh, yes I did, it's just being a bit laggy. Because I'm recording! And there's a very loud car outside my window that's been quite annoying. There we go. Okay. So, single air. We, uh, if you want to test it, you will have to make a new world. Because uh, uh, I think you have to make a new world anyway, because it has to generate all the uh, new uh, blocks, doesn't it? So, let me just pause the recording while the world loads up, guys, and I'll be back. In and we are back, guys. So, oh, hello. Okie dokie. And it's extremely laggy. Uh, I can't see our block. Let We'll dig down a bit. I think I did it right. Search around for this block. To be honest, it should be around... Hang on, what level are we at? 51, yeah, it should be around here. Because I set the rarity to a hundred thousand, so hmm, it should really be everywhere. Any blocks? Huh. Unless a hundred thousand isn't as powerful as as I thought for block generation. I've forgotten what the block looked like, to be honest. Um Well guys, I can't seem to find the block, but yeah, you just have to trust me on this one. It does work, it does generate blocks, because I have made mods before uh using that exact code which spawns blocks like different ores and stuff that I've made for mods so you just have to trust me on this guys it does work so you just try it out for yourself and it I guarantee that it will work unless you make an error then yeah just basically copy the code and it should all work you might have to tinker with the uh, the rarity settings just to see if it works but Anyway guys, this has been Mr. Pro Milky Bar Kid. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye guys.